One for the money, two for the show. Fuck it, let's go. You're gonna laugh. Cry, squirt hot oil on your eye. Get a little chubby and not know why. Probably because of his delicious food coming straight at you from his foul mouth, dude. Pink tacos not included. Let's start it without you, motherfuckers. Um, you know what? You can do this with whatever. Today I'm doing rice because I just don't feel like fucking pasta. I shouldn't have to explain how to make rice. Uh, it's really fucking simple. This plain old white parboiled rice. So uh, all you're gonna fucking do is put two parts water, one part rice. I throw in a tablespoon of butter for this because I'm doing something with steaky steak. So I added a little bit of beef bouillon uh, and parsley for the of green. A little bit of salt, pepper, and onion powder. There you go. Uh, got it to boil. Now I turn it down to loo. We're gonna let it simmer. Now we're gonna cut up some fucking beef. What we have here is some good old beef. These are sirloin steaks. They're, uh, you can see, nice and marbled, but not like fatty and shit like that. Uh, we're gonna slice these up. You know what? You can do strips, you can do cubes. I'm just gonna kinda chunk them under like, you know, one inch just cubes. Uh, I'm just gonna do it the way I like because I like that way. Uh, and I got four big ass motherfucking mushrooms. I got a bottle of beer and some uh, scotch and garlic. And I gotta grab some white wine. This is really fucking simple and takes you no time at all, which is why I started early because the rice actually takes fucking longer. Ninja, the knife ninja. I love how it sings. Ninja. Here's a very important thing about this shit. Your steak will cook very quickly in small pieces. If you want it rare, or on the rarer side, <laughs> you don't want to touch. The, you don't want the steak to touch this skillet until like the last fucking seconds. So we're gonna do the mushrooms first. Knife and ninja, the mushrooms. You know, after my last accident, one would assume that I'd be a little more careful. Fuck that, dude. Let's just chop up some fucking mushrooms, man. We're, we're going for, like, you know, chunky. I want texture to this fucker, okay? Mushrooms. All right, you're going to throw a little bit of olive oil in your pan. Once again, hot. Your olive oil is going to heat up pretty good. Throw your mushrooms in. Don't let that olive oil burn, okay? Here we go, fuckers. Toss your shit while your mushrooms are starting to cook. Take your steak. You know what? Be real nice. Make sure you got a really sharp motherfucking blade. Because sharp works really well. I think I got like this pent up energy or something. Every time I do this, I wonder. Every time I slice into or stab a raw steak, I just wonder what it would be like to slice apart a person. Uh, it tastes great. Beef tips. I want my mushrooms nice and cooked. So through history, men have come up with things to fuck. Because they don't have a woman or something. Sex toys come into play. There's some really fucking awesome sex toys out there. Me? I got a fleshlight. Best thing I've ever fucked aside from a woman. Okay? Seriously. Best fucking thing. And they got like, now they got like all these inserts, man. You can get like the super tight anal. You can get the virgin. You know, you can break its little hymen. And um, like shit like that. They got all sorts of crazy stuff, man. Here's the thing. Premium product? Yeah, premium price too. So, not everybody has enough money to just go out and buy, a, like, you know, ten inserts for the Fleshlight. So you come up with all these other creative ways. <coughs> I used to work with these people. And they would go on and on. I'm sorry, what? Oh, Duncan Turtle wants to do a shot. So these people come up with all these ways to, like, make things. Plastic bags filled with water. Um... It, evidently, there's this recipe. I tried this before. I gotta work on it. But you, um, you take cornstarch, you mix it with water, and then you microwave it to cook it, make it solid. It's kind of like a cheap little flashlight, but kind of breaks apart after you, if if you don't make the whole big enough. My favorite story. The one cook I worked with. I guess one day was prepping, and he's chopping up, you know, steaks for the restaurant. 
and uh, <laughs> he goes, he, he's feeling this piece of meat, and he's kind of like, hmm. So he took it, <laughs> I guess warmed it up a little, sliced a hole in it, and he lived across the street, and he went across the street and fucked it. Kind of a premium cut sex toy. Here we go with the mushrooms. They're about where I want them to be. There you go. I should make sex toys. Would you buy sex toys for me? I'd buy sex toys for me. Well, why would I buy them if I'm making them? Yeah, fuck that. I'm just going to make them. I got garlic. I got it from a tub. It's the mint shit, which is great. Because, really, that's what we need. Um, and I'll tell you, when you go to a restaurant and they have garlic in anything, this is what the fuck they use. There are very few times where their restaurant uses the actual fucking garlic. Hey, no problem. I do it all the time. Alright. Garlic. This garlic does not, does not want to get burned. We're going to plop it in here. We're going to toss it around. We're going to add our steak tips. Oh yeah, motherfuckers. Now, I'm not adding any salt to this because there's salt in the cooking wine that I use. And a little bit of pepper here. You can do peppercorns if you want. And this really is quick. You're going to toss this around. You're going to get all this beef. Now, once again, I want this to be rareish. So, I'm uh, raring to turn it really fast. Now, if you want your steak to cook longer, don't add the garlic until a little bit later. If you want it well done, don't add the garlic until you're about to pull it. Yeah, these are almost done. I want them that rare. This is going to be the best fucking lunch ever. Are we ready for the last motherfucking thing to do? White wine. Once again, I use the cooking wine because, well, I just do. There you go. We got the white wine in there. Now, seeing as I don't want my steak tips to be overdone, I'm actually going to remove them and let the wine reduce on its own for a minute. What's awesome about reduction is the amount of steam. Steamy. Motherfucking steamy. Before I top this with this shit, you can kind of see... I don't know how clear this is. Maybe my eyes are just fucking fuzzy, but... There's uh, blood on the edges of the steak. That's rare enough for me. When I was young, I was a fool, and I thought that burnt meat was good. And then I learned the truth. Oh, praise the Robert who told me. We call it reduction because it really will reduce. Like I said, it took the beef tips out. Mushrooms I ain't worried about. But this is what I'm talking about. It should reduce. It's not going to be like thick, saucy and shit like that. But, you know, it reduces. Basically, what you're doing is you're condensing all that little, all that water into a little tiny bit of raw flavor. And over top. There we go. Let's try. Yeah. Let's get all that motherfucking shit. It's like when a chick gets bukkake. Oh, man. Beefy bukkake. There you go. Beef tips. A la moyer. There's, uh, let's see. Oh, this looks like a really good fucking lunch, actually. What do you say, turtle? Yes, let's eat this shit and drink some more. Thank you once again for watching Better Than Eating Out. You know, I love it when you watch it. Don't forget to check out the cookbook on Amazon.com. Better Than Eating Out. Pink tacos not included by me, S. Period J. Period Moyer. Man, I think I'm drunk and it's lunchtime. Uh, I should probably do something about that. Check out my other shit. I'll see you next time. You enjoy your food. I'm so fucking gonna enjoy this right fucking now. Thank you. Pink tacos not included. Better than eating out. Pink tacos not included. Better than eating out. Pink tacos not included.